All right, good, happy Sunday evening. Let me get this all set up here. All right, pause that, make sure, okay. Looks like we've got everything up and running. Happy Sunday night. This is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Mid-Missouri. And tonight we're gonna do a new fun fold. So I found this out on Pinterest today because I was looking for something different. Hey Mary, thanks for joining. Um, so I was looking for something different to do. And I found on Sue Stampfield's, um, it popped up on fa on Pinterest, Sue Stampfield had shared this double-decker pop-up card. And so I decided to use the Cheerful Daisy collection to create this fun little fun fold. And I've made a couple of these today, and I this is the, the first one I did, and I've done a little bit different. So hopefully, hey, Mary, uh, Susan, hey, Rosie, thanks for joining. So hopefully I can get these measurements right and show you guys how to do this cute little card. So um, I did a thinking of you card. We've got some friends that are going through some stuff, and I thought, what better time to create than, oops, a couple of dog hairs there, um, to create, hey, Tara, or Karen, thanks for joining. Um, so let's get started. So I'll have all my measurements on my blog tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to give them to you as I go today, and I hope I have everything, like, prepared, but I was kind of running a little late because I did a couple of these, like I said. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my Simply Score tool. If you've watched any of my videos in the past or been with me on lives, you will know that I love my Simply Score tool. Ooh, sorry. No, there went the remote. I'll be looking for that later. Okay, so the problem that I run into is I can't ever get the... Um, the stylus to stay in place. So I use my um, take your pick tool because I always have this on my desk. I've got a couple of these. I've got one with the pointy end going and then one with a stylus. And I use that for creating um, dimension on flowers and to, hey, Mary, Amy, thanks for joining. So I'm going to use this and I have a sheet of eight and a half by five and a half. Um, just a, a half a card base or half a card sheet of card stock and I'm going to score this at two and an eighth I gotta make sure I do it right here wait a second there's two there's two and an eighth so there's two and an eighth and then four and a quarter okay this is where I think things may go wonky hopefully not so now I have a sheet of five and a half by four and I'm going to score this at half an inch. I'm going to score it again at one inch, which is another half an inch. I'm going to score it at two, and then I'm going to score it at two and a half. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so that's all we're going to need for our score tool. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. We got a full house tonight, guys. Thanks for joining. All right, so this is a piece of uh, wild wheat, and I'm just going to start folding and burnishing this just a little bit. If, there we go. Now I like to do a nice deep burnish. That's why I like to use that score tool. It gives just a little bit of a better score so you can fold these creases just really well. All right, so this is what we're going for. See, you've got this box that's gonna pop up. And so I could have done the first one at a quarter of an inch, but that doesn't give you much space to put your tear tape on. And um, that way I can, um, I've got a little more room to work with. Oh, thank you, Karen. All right, so I'm gonna peel this piece up and then I'm gonna fold this. So I'm folding it at the second score line and I'm gonna fold it in half. Is that right? Yep. And so now what that's done is that's created this box that's gonna pop up. So there's your card mechanism that goes in on the inside. So I've got one score line and then I fold and then I've got that other one folded back. All right, 
Now we're gonna take our card base and just fold it and that way we get the base set up so that we can put the card together and get to the fun stuff. This is just the boring part. All right, so this is just kind of creating a very easy Z fold. So here we go. Now we're gonna start putting this stuff together. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All right, so I have a piece of um, the Fresh as a Daisy DSP that I'm gonna adhere to a wild wheat mat. And I'm just gonna take some seal here and create this mat. It's just a little quarter inch mat that I've got going on. Here we go. And then that's ready to go on the inside of our card base. All right. So here's, I've got a piece of, this is Moody Mob that I'm using. I didn't have a perfect, let's go from the bottom. There we go. Making sure that I, I have that nice clean edge all the way around to create those different dimensions and use up that beautiful paper that we have. Now, what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna just adhere a little bit of this DSP with the salt that has the solid um, wild wheat. So I'm just using the back and I wanna make sure I use the right one, okay. Because I'm not matting this. I thought if I matted it, there it would just be too thick. It's a pretty thick card, it's a pretty heavy card, so this is gonna require a little extra postage. It'll totally be worth it though. But that way I, I tried to save a little bit. And then I have the mild, the uh, Moody Mauve water brush looking um, DSP from that Fresh as a Daisy collection that I'm going to adhere to another wild wheat mat. Okay, so that's ready to go on the front. And then I'll show you how to put the mechanism in on the inside. Oops, here we go. So I'm gonna set that right there. And before I put it down, I'm gonna make it, see if I can get that up. Here we go. Let's try that again. Making sure we get the nice clean edges all the way around. There we go. All right, so here's your card base, basically. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of that score tape, or not score tape, uh, tear and tape, and I am putting it on the larger one inch background. And the reason that I did one inch, so on the original you can see, I did one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. The problem was when this folds shut, it doesn't leave much space for this piece right here. So I wanted a little more space for the inside. So that's why I changed the dimensions a little bit on this one. And I feel like it's gonna work better. All right. Okay, here we go. Now you'll notice I'm only putting it on this large piece. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it flat with that one inch piece being the large side, and I'm gonna fold it right into this edge, and then I'm gonna fold this down and burnish it down. Okay, so as you can see, it's still not popping up yet because we need to connect these two. The reason I'm using the tear tape is because this is a little bit stronger. You could always use Seal Plus, but I don't normally have Seal Plus sitting on my table. I do, in fact, have tear tape on my table at all times. All right, I'm gonna peel that backing and I'm gonna fold that flat and then fold it again and just burnish. Oh, Karen, I, can't, I hope you do make it and I hope you send me a copy of it. That would be awesome. Okay, so there's that card base. So you can do this with anything. So many different things you can use this Stampin' Up! DSP with. 
Um, and it's going to be, it, all the cards are going to be beautiful. All right, so I have a piece of basic white measuring two, three and an eighth by three and seven eighths, I think. Yep, three and seven eighths. And this is where I'm going to put my sentiment. So I've got some Moody Mob ink here that I'm going to ink up. And I brought these sentiments from a Wonderful Thoughts um, stamp set. So, once. Okay. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. That sentiment right there is, is perfect and spot on for this family that I'm sending this to. You know, just be there for your friends when they need you. And you know, sometimes you just need people to shut up and just let you cry. And that's what we're going to do for them. All right, I'm just going to stamp that off a little bit on this daisy that we're putting in here. Just to put there on that corner. And I'm going to bring in some wild wheat. All my Karens are loving this. Great. I'm glad you guys like it. This was fun to make this afternoon. I was having, I was having some struggles. You know, do you ever have that struggling afternoon where you need to do something and just nothing is working and you end up making six cards and you hate them all? That was kind of the day I was having. And I think it's because sometimes these cards that we're making for our loved ones are just kind of heavy. All right, so there's that daisy that we're going to put it there on the inside I'm using the wild wheat ink to correspond with everything that we're doing. All right, I'm going to give this a little bit of seal here. We'll adhere that to the inside. So this is where it gets kind of tricky. And you can always do this before you, you adhere it. I just wanted to make sure I had it done right. There we go. Oh, that's a little crooked. So it's not perfect, but that's okay. I think it'll still be well appreciated. Okay, so now I have a piece of basic white that I cut with the deckled rectangle set. And I um, used the fourth one from the smallest. Now I have a thinking of you sentiment that we're gonna stamp in Moody Mob on that. Let's get that out of the way, so. All right. And now we're gonna put our daisies together. And hopefully, if I turn around here, I'm gonna see my silicone mat somewhere because I feel like I need it. so that it doesn't all crash out here. Ooh, my door to my room is shut and it is hot in here. Holy smokes, it's hot. All right, so these are my die cuts that I've already taken care of. So let's see here. Then we'll take that one out. Ooh, Karen, I'd love to have you over to make cards. We haven't done that in a long time. I'm missing girlfriend time. Okay, so this is that solid um, die cut that's in the Cheerful Daisy set. And what I do with this, and you may have seen me do this before, is I just trim. And I don't throw these pieces away. I save them just because I might need them later. Okay, just one little small snip. And then I don't need this little guy. So I'm gonna put him in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of clean up some of those little bits that are on there because we don't want, need those. And your paper snips are perfect for this because they get into the small spaces there and trim just a little bit. Okay. So what I'm gonna do with these white pieces is I am going to take my light wild wheat stamp and blend and I'm gonna just color 
the inside. So I tried stamping it and I didn't really like it. So I used my, my blender pen and I like that one. Or not blender pen, my um, stamp and blend. Okay, so now we're gonna layer this and kind of layer it before I glue it to make sure I've got it the way I want it. So this piece goes there. And you can offset them, but because I'm not doing three of all the same color, I'm not really gonna offset them. I'm gonna try to layer them up as, as easily, as well as I can. So sometimes it works out that it lays out perfect and other times it takes a little bit. So this is why I'm bringing my silicone mat in here. Because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do from the top down and so I'm gonna flip my um, piece and I'm gonna just take some liquid glue here. Whew. I'm either having a hot flash or it must be 100 degrees in this room. Okay, there's some liquid glue here. I'm gonna take some tweezers and I'm just going to flip it right back up and lay it right where it came from. Okay. And I use this liquid adhesive because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room and time to move things around. The reason I'm using my silicone mat is because there are some holes in here you can see, and that way it's not gonna glue to my paper. So now I'm gonna flip this back around. I'm gonna use some more liquid adhesive. See, I got a little too much liquid adhesive there. So it's definitely probably gonna ooze. And if I did that on the other one, I wouldn't be able to get it off my, my paper. Okay, I'm gonna carefully layer that so that I'm seeing a little bit of moody mauve peek out from those white leaves. So I think this definitely looks like some of those variegated flowers, daisies that you can get using the white along. Oh, Amy, no, no girlfriend. I'm not too young for hot flashes. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the little one. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pull this down. So there's my layers. I'm gonna flip this one. Oops, now I've messed it up. So here we go. Make sure I'm gonna throw those around. Make sure I've got it layered the way I want it to. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip this over carefully and be very careful with my glue. So I'm not a huge lover of liquid glue. I know a lot of people think it's fantastic, um, but I get a little heavy handed with it. So I'm trying to be very careful and that's why I'm using my silicone mat as well. Clear that up. Make sure I'm getting just a little peek of that white from everything. Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining. How's everything going out your way? Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna flip that over again and just do a little bit of that liquid adhesive. And I'm sorry this is taking a bit of time, but I just want you guys to see exactly how to layer these flowers up. Here we go. Layer it so you've got just a little bit of that moody mauve hanging out from that white piece. There we go. And that's why you're using that liquid adhesive because that gives you that wiggle room time and then set it over to dry just a bit. All right, so we're done with the silicone mat, I think. This thing is a lifesaver. If you don't have one, get one. Huh, yes. I am a mess with it too, Amy. I She said that she glued some her um, self to a project. Yes, I get you. And I, it gets all over my fingers and then I can't work. Okay, so 
The last time I'm going to use my tear tape, I'm going to do, do, so I'm making sure that I put just the tear tape on one side of this sentiment box. So I want it to be right here on this side. So I'm just going to flip that over and know that I need it to be right here on this side because you don't want to put it on the other side because then it's not going to stick or it's not going to open right. And I usually just do two pieces, two strips. That's usually plenty of strength to keep those fun folds in place. All right. Yep, I'm going to get this liquid glue out of the way before I squeeze it all over the table. Okay. Peel my backings away. And then I'm going to flip this over and try to center it before I set it down. Okay, so you've got a little bit of this edge, and now we're ready to put our flowers in place. So, those are little dimensionals. I don't want little dimensionals. I only have big, this one little. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Dimensional. I'm going to sit this here, where I think it'll look okay. Oh, crumb, I'm going to need that liquid adhesive again. Got my tweezers and I'm just going to use just a little bit of that liquid adhesive again. Oopsie, what I mean? Get a little overzealous. I get impatient. So I'm going to lift this up and carefully lay that down there so that sprig is just sticking up so. All right. Now we'll glue the last flower flat. That way we've got a little bit of dimension, but not a lot. Let's figure out where we want this guy. Kind of put my thinking of you a little too low, I think. It'll be okay. All right, there it is. There's today's card. This is the double, let me get the name of it, the double decker pop-up card. Oh, I need to put my butterflies on there. We don't want to leave those off. So I've got these brush but, brass but, butterflies. Say that six times too quick. And I love these because they're nice and flat. And they go with all cards that have flowers on them. It's the only dimension or embellishments I want to use for flower cards. All right. I'm going to put one up there. All right. So there's today's card. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do an envelope real quick. As I said, all these dimensions will be available on my blog tomorrow at, at terabethstamps.blogspot.com. Um, and I'll have all those dimensions. And then I have another one that I'm going to feature on Tuesday's blog. So make sure you come back and check that out. It's another version of this card because, as I said, I made several of them today. I will be back here again next week, Sunday night, same time, same place. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, same time, same place. If there's something you want to see that we haven't done in a while, let me know. I'll, I'll see what I can do to create something fun. Um, I appreciate you taking part of your Sunday night out and spending the evening with me. Have a great week, and we'll see you later.